what is the vagus nerve? What does it do for us? Um, maybe a little bit around the primary structures of the vagus nerve, the role that it plays in POTS and gastroparesis and those types of conditions. Okay. Well, the vagus nerve is the longest cranial nerve in the body. And although we speak of it as one nerve, there are actually two of them, of course, one on each side of the neck. The vagus nerve is part of the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest system of the body. So after something scares you, like a bear, for example, which activates the sympathetic nervous system, your heart races, your breathing rate increases, you can become flooded with chemicals like adrenaline, and you can run, that's a great thing. But when the bear is gone, it's the parasympathetic nervous system that allows your heart and breathing to normalize, your body to calm down, your digestive organs to work again. And the two systems of the body have opposite effects and the balance between them is critical. So as part of the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagus nerve specifically slows your heart and breathing, but also allows most every digestive function, from swallowing, to opening up the pyloric valve uh, at the base of the stomach so food can exit. It tells your stomach to start making more stomach acid when, when it's appropriate. It signals the gallbladder to release bile. It partially controls the pancreas to release digestive enzymes, and it controls peristalsis through the intestines, motility, if you will, so you can have normal bowel movements. Interestingly, it also helps us control inflammation. And this was not my work, but Dr. Kevin Tracy figured out that the vagus nerve is the anti-inflammatory nerve of the body. The vagus nerve controls a lot. And I began to suspect it as a problem in my own case because my gut symptoms and fast heart rate began at about the same time. When something like that happens, you have to ask, what could affect both of these things at the same time, right? 